Welcome to the CDP Fitness YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy the workout you are about to do and don't forget to check out more workouts here on our page or on our website at cdpfitness.com. Welcome to bar. Today we will be using some optional ankle weights, a medium or large ring or two hand weights and a mat later. Let's get started with our ring. If you have the ankle weights, let's put them on already. And we'll start with some squats. So just hanging out with your weight with it in between your two hands or one in each hand and send the hips back and lift. So the weight is just in front of your chest right here. Knees aren't going too, too far forward. They're pointed at center foot for these. You send the hips back and we lift. Send the hips back and lift and lift. There's a hawk flying overhead, being chased by small birds. For four, three, two. Let's hold our next one for four, three, two, and then little side steps. So just side to side here, side to side without your height changing, holding the weight for four, three, two, one more step, then find your squat stance, hold, reach, narrow row. So you reach away, row back in, reach, row back in, out and in, reach, row back. So elbows are grazing your sides, chest stays open. You have four, three, two, hold right here, hold the in for four, three, Two, now keeping the weight close, step back to a lunge, come back to your squat. Step back, squat. So you alternate your lunge, then forward. And we never come to full standing in this move. Ooh, and up, lunge, lift, without lifting all the way. Chest is open, you're still holding your weight. Step back, step back, four more, three, two last one find your squat back to full range hips back and lift weight is still here and lift remember that when the hips stop shoulders stop and up four more three two hold again this time gently lower the weight in front of you for four lift the chest three two now stand up upright row squat lower upright row lower upright row and up keeping the core lifted waistline engaged and feet hip distance or just outside hip distance upright row is not a shoulder shrug and lift so my weight lands right in front of my shins roughly but it's pretty big so my hands are about knee height and lift Four more, three, two, one more, hold at the top for four, three, two, now a little bend in the knees, just the upright row, standing tall with soft knees, and lower, lift, lower, four, three, two, one more lift and hold for four, three, two. Good work. Let's put the ring down for a bit. Coming into second position, so ankles outside the hips. And remember the taller you are, the wider your stance will be here. Knee over ankle, shoulder over hip, wrap the core again and hold center, relax the shoulders. I like to do hands to hips, but go where it feels comfortable. If you need a balance tool, I recommend it being in front of you. One heel, lower, lift, lower. So alternating releves, up and lower, lift, lower. Making sure that the knees don't collapse towards your midline. Shoulders stay over hips, hips evenly between the two feet. Lift and lower. Notice how the core changes a little bit. When you releve and lower for four, three, two, one more, find center, pulses, so tiny pulse, tiny pulse, think up one, up one, up one, really press through the heels a little bit extra, feel that great glute engagement, little lift, little lift, you have four, three, 
two. Hold here for four. We're going to releve both heels in three, two, both heels same time. Lift and lower to the ground. Up and lower, lift and lower, up, lower. Height doesn't change here. And as always, your releve doesn't have to be crazy high. Maybe it's just an inch, maybe not even. That's fine. Go where it works for your body. And if the releve isn't for you, stay in pulses. And lower, lift, lower, four, three, two. Can we hold the releve and do little pulses? And again, if the releve isn't for you, flat feet and tiny lift. If you are joining me in the releve, even weight in all 10 toes, and it never has to be that high heel still. Up one, up one, a little bit deeper core engagement when the heels are lifted. Tiny up, 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 four, three, two, hold for four. We float our arms. Three, two, now the arms lower and lift without your posture changing. So imagine hugging a beach ball the entire time. You're not letting your spine, your ribs change shape. Up and lower. So purely moving at the shoulder joint for four. Three, two, we're going to add a plie to these ready. You plie, you lengthen, plie and lengthen, plie, lengthen and lengthen and lift and lift you do four three two we hold at the bottom hold hold your lowest one yes find that spot hold for four hold hands if you need to three two all the way up shake out the legs for a moment if you need to grab some water at any point as well it is a humid day here Now, if you need something to hold on to for this next move, maybe grab a chair, the back of a couch, a table, whatever you have nearby. But we will start with our right leg being our back leg in a glute lift. Standing leg, knee over ankle, knee toes, hip all point forward, square the hips, square the shoulders, and a gentle hinge. I want big toe to crown of the head, one long line, the hawk's back. All right, starting with the right glute, it lifts and you tap the ground. So spine doesn't change shape. Standing leg stays the same shape as well. Up and tap. And if you're holding something, it can be in front of you or to the opposite side. Up, tap, and it's not a very big lift and that's fine. Lift and tap, that's all. Lift, tap, lift, tap for four, three, two, Hold this one, tiny lift, tiny lift, right here, right where glute and hamstring meet. Little lift, little lift, little lift for four, three, two, hold again. Now from the back of the leg, lengthen, bend and lengthen one little inch. So really find the hamstring in this tiny reach, 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 chest stays open, reach, reach, four. Oh goodness. Three, there's three hawks now. Two, hold, flex your foot, hamstring curls, drag in and out. Keep your thigh, same spot in the air and reach. Drag it in and lengthen, in and out. In and reach, four, out, three, two. Can you hold the bent leg, little reach, little press, press? Press, last one before side two. Press, press, press. Four, three, two. Shake it out. I can't believe there's three hawks, by the way. All right, side two, front leg is now your right leg. Knee over ankle, hip, knee, toe, all point forward. And then start with big toe on the ground. You are hinged forward, so big toe to crown of the head, one long line. Core engages away from the ground, you glute lift tap up and tap and notice it's not very high that I'm reaching and that's fine lift and tap because I don't want my back to be changing shape because it's not a back move it is a glute hamstring move and core always core up tap lift and tap we lift and tap I'm gonna make a song out of it for four three two 
hold the little pulse. Pulse check in with the standing leg, making sure the hips are level. We're not dropping into our right hip or your standing hip. Little pulse right here. Put your hand on the glute line. Up one, up one for four, three, two, hold the little reach. So you bend and lengthen at the knee, activating the hamstring even deeper. Little reach, little reach, little reach. So this is the motion the leg is making. Out one, out one, and out for four, three, two, hold, flex your foot, hamstring curl. Your goal is to keep your thigh same spot in the air. Don't let it bounce. That way you really get the back of the leg activation here. Lengthen, drag in, lengthen, drag in, and in. We have four, three, two, hold the next one, knee is bent, little press, little press, like you're trying to tap somebody behind you. Tap, 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 four, three, two, shake out the legs. They both just did a lot of work, especially the standing side. Grab your weights when you're ready. All right, we're gonna start with something really simple and you'll probably think it's silly, but we're just gonna pass your weight around you. Yep, so just pass, working on stability in the upper body here. So not letting the core rock, the hips rock, the legs rock, keeping your weight as close to you as you can. Rocking is not allowed, unless you're rocking out to your favorite jams. Four more, then you switch directions. Three, two, one more, reverse it. Same thing, other way. Don't let the hips wiggle, keep them really stable. I know the heavier, the bigger the weight, more chance there is. Around and around, it's the new version of around the world for four, three, two, one more. Bring the weight back in front of you, hold here. All right, now we did some rowing last time. This time it's gonna be more of a wide row. So last time our elbows were narrow, this time they'll be wide. So a gentle hinge, soft knees, and then if you're using the ring like me, a little bit more wide elbows, about 45 degrees. So not tucked in and not completely sprawled to the side like the hawk. Reach, wide row. So my elbow, yeah, that's 45. And pull it in without the torso bouncing. Reach, bring it in. Reach, bring it in. Out and in. Really draw the abs in deeper each time you pull the weight in towards you. So out, pull in. Out, pull in. For four, three, two, can we hold this next row? Hold here for four, three, two. Come up for a moment, stand tall, soften the knees again, curl and curl. Now, if you need a different weight at any point, you're welcome to grab it. But keeping upper body really still, so much core engagement and lower, curl and lower, curl and curl and curl. Draw the shoulders down and back here. Four, three, itchy knee, two. Let's hold halfway, hold for four. So elbow is bent, three, two. Another round, lower, lift, and lift, and lift, and lift. We go to our mat next, lift, and lift. Almost there, we have four, Three, two, last one. Gently bring your weight down. Grab your mat and meet me back here. I'm gonna give the arms a little bit of a break right now. Start by laying down for some laying core. So feet are just relaxed on the mat, knees are bent in front of you, spine is lengthened, and then find your head cradle. So make pancake hands along the base of the head and then lift from the core. So you're not pulling from your neck here or the base of your shoulders. And then just holding this lift, focusing on drawing the abs in towards your spine, 
up towards your ribs, not letting this mountain happen. So draw the abs, flatten them like a pancake. Just hold them here for a moment. Relaxing, gaze is right above your knees if your eyes are open and we're holding here for four. Three, two, now lift your left leg, bring your right shoulder to meet it or like it's going to come back down, opposite side. Now you're goldering these is to not let the hips rock, to keep them stable. Twist up and over, center, lift, twist. Now the leg is still, you're letting the upper body come to meet it. So the leg doesn't cross your midline, but you're trying to get the shoulder to go up and over instead of the elbow, because you can do the elbows all day with no effect. And switch. We have four. Three, two, hold here, hold. Now the leg out, bend in. Now notice I'm reaching pretty high in the air here. That way my spine doesn't change shape. I'm able to really draw the core in and I'm keeping the twist in my upper body. Leg bends in and out for four, three, two, Hold the length if you can for four, three, two, bring that leg down, opposite direction. So you hold the twist and then the leg lengthens and bends in. Draw the abs in if you need to put a hand on your core to help remind your brain and the muscle. Reach, bend it in, reach, bend it in, out and in for four and three and two. Last one, come back to center, head down for a moment. That was fun. All right, take a moment if you need to. And then lifting back up. Now you can keep the head cradle or bring the arms by your side for your penguin side bends. So same thing, draw the abs down. Now, instead of getting the up and over motion, you're doing a waistline pivot, pivot. So it's nice little penguin waddle like upper body. Side to side, chin is off the chest. Imagine holding an orange there the entire time. Legs don't move. Side to side, side to side for four, three, two, one more. Now hold to one side. Doesn't matter which side it is. If you need to, opposite side does a head cradle and you hold here for four, three, Two, switch, hold for four, three, two, center, melt down. Now this is a nice time to either stretch opposite directions or do a hug, take your time and then rock to seated. All right, finding your plank here. So you can do a hand plank, a fist plank, or an elbow plank, whichever you feel best in. I typically will do hand or fist posture. And then on the toes, holding your center plank, shoulders are down and back away from the ears, chin off the chest, holding center here, draw the abs in towards the ceiling for four, three, two. Now take one foot, tap it outside the mat, come back in, switch switch and nothing else moves when we do these keeping hips so stable tap now yes you can do this from the elbows you can even do this from knees down same idea so many places that you can do this move from it's all about keeping hips and shoulders squared to the floor below you the entire time so what i mean by that is we're not rotating out or to the ground so you tap you tap Find which one works best for you here. You are here for four more. Three, two, one more set. Knees down, give the hands a little shake if you are just on them. Now next one, hands or elbows again. So find what works for your body. And then you tap one foot on top of the other. Bring it down, tap, 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 tap. And same as last time, goal is to keep everything squared to the floor below you. Tap, tap, four, three, two, last one, knees down, 
hands, give them a nice little twirl. All right. Now, if you have your ankle weights on, awesome. If you took them off, we're going back to legs. So if you want to put them back on, now's the time. Side leg. Now we're doing them back to back, so don't worry about which side you do first. Line up the back of you with the back edge of your mat, feet to the front corner. So you create kind of like a 45 degree angle. Top hand in front or on your hip. Head cradle, pillow, do what feels best. But think about drawing the abs in, keeping your leg, top leg, as long as you can without locking and making the joints uncomfortable though. So here's like a really stressed locked joint. Here is a not locked joint. Are we ready? Float your leg to hip height, making sure your knee points forward. Bottom leg, the tiniest bend in the knee as well. Tiny lift up an inch. Keeping hips squared, hips perpendicular to the floor. Little lift, so really activating outer thigh, outer glute. Up one, up one, up and up. These flowers smell very nice now that I'm next to them. Mm -hmm. Up one, up one, for four, three, two. Hold, smallest circle you can. Make it the size of a tennis ball, small circle. Now hand in front of you is going to provide more balance. Hand on hip, less balance, but you know if you're rocking forward and back. And your goal is to not rock. So try fingertips on the ground as well so that you're not tempted to death grip the floor. <laughs> small circle for four, three, two, and reverse that small, small tennis ball size circle, really getting every angle of the glute in this one for four, three, two, hold here, point and flex, just moving at the ankle. So lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend, lengthen, bend, four, three, two, Hold, give me your highest lift you have, and then lengthen it one more inch. Now, highest lift without changing your posture. Hold that length, hold for four. Draw the abs in deeper, three, two. Gently lower, go directly to side two. The sun is now out, it is now hot. It was not hot a few minutes ago. All right, line up your back with the back edge, feet to the front corner of your mat, just that gentle bend in the knees, and then think drawing your top leg away from you. Femur reaches away from you, and notice how your waist just lifted off the mat. All right, start with that tiny lift again. Remember, knee points in front of you, not to the floor. Activating outer glute, outer thigh, keeping hips perpendicular to the floor. <sighs> Go where you need to with the top arm. <laughs> Little lift, little lift. So really thinking about your waistline as well. It is helping stabilize the hips here when we're laying down. Little lift, little lift for four, three, two, hold. Draw the smallest circle you can. So tiny, so controlled. Tiny, controlled, tiny, controlled. Tiny and controlled. Remember tennis ball size, four. More core if you're wiggling. Three, make the circle smaller and slower. Two, now reverse it. Same size, same size. Small controlled, small controlled circles for four, three, two. Hold the point and flex. So just bend and lengthen at the ankle. Try not to let your waist collapse to the ground. Keep the hips lined up. Point and flex for four, three, two hold now give me the highest lift you can again reach away one more inch for four holding here three two felt that one really felt that one all right one more move with your weight so pick up your weight pick up your water if you need it all right i have not seen the hawks again by the way i do not want to know what they're up to all right, so your single weight or two weights, 
that are going just above your chest. Now, safety first. Make sure that your hand is holding it completely. So four fingers on one side, thumb on the other. So that they wrap around, the less chance of it falling on your face. Relax the shoulders into the mat below you. Relax, relax. Little bend in the elbow. And now lift your bridge and hips. So hips, I like to say about a fist distance between your booty and the ground. Knees and toes point in the same direction and your knee can be just behind your ankle or over, but try not to let it be in front of, because that's a lot of flexion that our knee probably doesn't love. And then from there, tiny lift. So press through the floor below you, find your glute, your hamstring muscles, core is engaged the entire time, press through the ground, press through the ground. Now, if your arms get tired at any point, elbows down, wrist over elbow, making sure that we're holding our weight with straight wrists. You can do all these moves. I know it's a little late, but you can do them with wrist weights as well without the holding a weight. So tiny lift, tiny lift, tiny lift for four, three, two, hold. Now the right hip only lift, lifts a scoop from the waistline. Use your glute right side, right side. Arms are frozen up, up, four, three, Two, left side, scoop up, 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 up. Arms don't move still, up, four, three, two. Now we put it together. So you scoop right, scoop left, kind of like you're making, scooping a bowl or making the letter U, an upside down rainbow, however you want to think about it. But you scoop, scoop without the arms wiggling, knees still point in front of you, up and up. And notice, yes, my hips are like grazing the mat or my bum is grazing the mat. Lift and lift and lift. You have four, three, two, one more set. You find center here. Now bring the right leg to tabletop, bring it back down. Switch, soften the elbows if you need to. This is your final move. We are ending in bridges today. And lift and lift. Try not to let the hips bounce. Your standing leg has to activate the hamstring, the glute, even deeper. Core stays engaged the entire time. Hips aren't drastically rocking. You are here for four, three, two, one more. Hold with the right leg lifted, hold. Little bridge pulse up, up. Now, if you need the hand weights, the hands down, that's fine little press through the floor heel for four, three, two, one more, gently lower, up one inch. Oh, did I not say switch legs? Yes, switch legs, up one, up one, up one for four. You're almost there. Stay with me, three, two, place that foot back on the ground, melt into the floor bone by bone, gently safely place your weights to the ground, rock yourself to seated, grab a forward fold or diamond legs, whatever feels nice right now. Thank you for coming to your total body class today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining for your workout today. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below what other ones you would like to see and head over to our website, cdpfitness.com for more workouts.